hey you guys i am back with another video today i know it's been a minute i haven't done a video in a while but you know life gets super busy of course i'm a mother i work i have four children i have a husband i'm all over the place but today i wanted to make a video about my experience this past weekend you know i'm always making videos about what i got going on in my life this weekend, this past Memorial Day weekend, I took a trip to Anchorage, Alaska. I had heard so many things about it, and me and my husband and some friends planned it a vacation to Anchorage. Um, we got there on Friday, ended up leaving Monday, and all I can say is I liked it a lot. Um, the weather, I can say, was disappointing because I left warm Fairbanks thinking that I was going to get to a warm Anchorage because I just sit up here and packed all my little summer clothes thinking like, oh, I can finally wear my summer clothes now. Wrong. Did not get to wear my summer clothes except on the last day when I was leaving. And it was too late. Like, it was too late. I was already committed to my jogging outfit. So, as this ensemble that I have on this Alaska pullover, and also my Alaska sweats was bought in Anchorage this past weekend because I was assuming we was going to have some warm weather and we did not. So, this video is going to be comparing Fairbanks and Anchorage. Yes. When I first, before I even got here, I had some friends asking me like, hey, where are you guys going to station at? You can station at J-Bear? And I was like, no, Fort Wayne Wright. And they was like, boom, literally, you can station at Fort Wayne Wright? Yes. Now I know why they was booing me and feeling sad, feeling some type of way. Because I legit feel like the army bamboozled me, sending me to Fort Rain right so i am gonna compare the two places just to give you an insight on what i think about it plus especially if you're in fairbanks now or in the future coming and probably want to take a trip to anchorage here's gonna be some insight for you so let's get ready for the video so the first thing i want to let you know if you're ever in the future you know in fairbanks you're tired of fairbanks and you're like hey i want to get out of fairbanks and go somewhere new like let's try anchorage i will advise you please pack with a lot of stuff like food supplies pretty much i knew that it was going to be a six hour drive i was prepared so picture this me and my husband four girls six hour drive it was very stressful i must say i will say the drive back for some reason which is weird because i had some other friends that went to and they were like well the drive back wasn't that hard versus the drive there that was complicated why i have no clue but when i tell you those six hours were the longest I've ever drove in like a few years. Because I think about it, I've been here in Fairbanks for a while. So I haven't been anywhere far that I didn't have to fly to. So this is the first time in a long time I actually had to have a long car ride with four girls that just wanted to do this the entire time. The day before, we made sure to get like Capri Suns, um, granola bars, chips, because we kind of really didn't want to make a stop. And just to let you know, there's not that really many places for you to make a stop. The majority of the ride is literally trees and sticks and mountains. That's literally hours of the ride. So I would say, please make sure you pack some supplies, some kind of food, something, because it's going to be a long time before you see a gas station. Yeah, that, that, that trip, that drive was something, but yeah. Please pack as many supplies as you can because six hours in reality kind of don't sound like a lot. When you're driving with your kids, it's a lot. So since I've been here, so many people have been telling me that you need to get out of Fairbanks for a little bit and get to Anchorage. What had been keeping me going to Anchorage for the longest was them six hours. Because I knew how bad I felt when my husband was stationed at Fort Bragg and we had to drive those five hours to Atlanta 
to see his mother and I felt like that was the longest ride of my life. So, of course, you know, six hours was going to kill me just the same. But we was like, look, we don't plan on flying anywhere. We're trying to save money because we want to get up out of here next year and pay our own way to get up out of here next year. But we still want to do something family oriented, sightsee and get out of Dodge for a while. So. I would say, please go to Anchorage. The atmosphere is literally so different. The first thing I noticed once we stepped into Anchorage, those beautiful snowy mountains. When I tell you those mountains are like so beautiful, wherever you are driving it in Anchorage, all you see is those beautiful snowy mountains. And my friend was like, they look fake. They do. They really do look fake. But to me, they look so relaxing. Just Everywhere you go, beautiful snowy mountains. It's not like that in Fairbanks. Not at all like that in Fairbanks. Like, there are mountains here in Fairbanks. Don't get me wrong. It's mountains here. But it's not those beautiful, like, glacier snowy mountains that Anchorage have. The drive, it didn't matter where it was going. The drive, whether it was Walmart, um, going to McDonald's, anywhere, Seeing those mountains just were so beautiful to me. I loved it. While we was there, um, it was a group of us and we had all our kids. We really didn't get a chance to go as many places as we wanted to because, of course, we got the kids. We did go to this water park. It's called H2O Water Park. Actually, that was really neat for the kids. Wore them out. They had so much fun playing in all the little slides and swimming areas, all that stuff. And also, we went on a little group outing and ate at the Moose Tooth. So, it's like a piece of place there in Anchorage. And it's actually really good. We just ordered pretty much all kind of different type of pieces. Pepperoni. We had ranch and buffalo. My husband got some kind of pizza called Carnivore. We had... Like steak, mushroom, peppers, all that. Um, somebody had to order her wine pizza, and we just basically just tried everything that we had ordered. So those were like the main two things we did. We pretty much kind of just stayed in our Airbnb and chill, play games, hung out with the kids, stuff like that. It was real neat. But what I really loved about being in Anchorage the most was something that I've been wanting to see for the longest and that's something that i've been complaining about since i've been in fairbanks is the food places and when i tell you anchorage has hella food places i just wanted to cry of emotion of happiness because i was like oh my god so for the longest when we decided that we were going to go to Anchorage, me and my friends was like, we are going to Texas Roadhouse. It's like our main place. I haven't been to a Texas Roadhouse before since I had left Columbus, Georgia almost two years ago. So I was excited, but I made a list of the things that they have in Anchorage versus Fairbanks that don't have these places, which they have a Buffalo Wild Wings, a Wingstop, Texas Roadhouse, a Raisin Cane's. Olive Garden, Benihana. I've never been to Benihana. I'm actually mad that we didn't go because I've always heard things about Benihana's. Never been to Benihana's. And then, of course, Junior. And, of course, extra restaurants on top of that that, you know, may not be well known to all of the United States. But still, they at least still have some chain restaurants. And you do you know how excited I was? To see Texas Roll House. I was super excited. My husband was more excited to see Wingstop. And of course we stopped at Wingstop. Once we got ready to leave. I went on and got me some food. Um, Where did I get some food from? Actually I went with him. I just got the kids some like McChickens and stuff at McDonald's. But I actually got some food with him at Wingstop. Because I myself had not been to Wingstop in like years since my four brag days is when I went to Wingstop. So I was super excited about being nostalgic, going back now, memory lane, having foods that I haven't had in like forever and a day. 
I will say that's one big plus to me of being in Anchorage. It's a more variety of foods. Who don't want to just go to, you know, chain restaurants? Like the ones that you're used to when you're, like I say, back in civilization because Alaska is on the other side of the world. So I do not consider it civilization, especially to the fact I live in Fairbanks. And Fairbanks don't really have nothing. And I always be joking and be like, I cannot wait back to wait until I'm able to go back to civilization, which is one of the other 48 states. But I will say Anchorage gave me a little bit of that civilization that I was missing this weekend. And I enjoyed it very much. Now, when you're riding through the town part of like Fairbanks, you have your little small businesses and stores and stuff like that. Anchorage is like on another level. When I seen all the stores, I was super excited. Literally, like I told you, I made a list because I was super excited. They have a Best Buy, a Kohl's, a Target, a Nordstrom Rack, a H&M, American Eagle, a North Face. And that's in downtown Anchorage. A North, I've never in life ever seen a North Face store. Never. I've seen North Face clothes in every other store I can think of, but I've never seen the actual department store. And they have one in downtown Anchorage. I was like, what? And they also have a Burlington. They don't have none of that in Fairbanks. None of that. Also, Anchorage have multiple Walmarts. We only got one here in Fairbanks. And Fairbanks... Don't really let I me. Mean, they have some store. You got Old Navy, Journey, um, Torrid, stuff like that. But Target, come on now. Everybody likes shopping at Target. Kohl's, who don't like shopping at Kohl's? I miss those places. I would love if Fairbanks would have stuff like that to actually give you the option. I heard that the mall was good. I personally didn't get to go to the mall. I didn't get a chance to, but my husband went. He said it was good. They got a food court and everything. Fairbanks Mall does not have a food court, sadly. And it doesn't have as many stores as the one in Anchors do as well. So that's a little annoying. And don't even get me started about the driving. So. Anchorage, of course, is bigger than Fairbanks, and it's kind of like driving on the highway, you know, there. Me and my husband, we had to get used to it because we've been here in Fairbanks, and everything in Fairbanks is literally five minutes away from each other. Everything. The most you'll probably get, honestly, is like 15 literally 15 minutes and the only way sometimes that can get stressed out longer is during the winter time when the snow and ice on the road and everybody's driving like miss daisy so it's taking you probably an extra five to ten minutes to get to your destination but other than that especially when the snow is gone five to 15 minutes to get to wherever you're trying to get Versus an anchorage, it's like a highway. So from what I've noticed, it takes you about 20 to 30 minutes to get to everywhere you want to go. And everybody was sitting up there going about like 70, 80 miles per hour. My husband was like, I'm trying to get used to this driving because I haven't drove at this speed in over almost two years. Because basically here in Fairbanks, you really don't have to drive that fast. First of all, it's not going to take you long to get to your destination. And the majority of the speed limit is like, what, 45? Literally the majority of the time while you're driving the speed limit is like 45 to 50. So that was something trying to get used. Um, Once we got to Anchorage and was like driving to different places, we got used to it. But I'm not even going to lie. When I was driving to our Airbnb through Anchorage and those mountains and that wind and all these cars is going like 70, 80 miles. I haven't drove that fast since I was in Columbus, Georgia. So I was nervous as hell trying to drive to, I think we we're coming from, my husband had pulled over because his knee was hurting or whatever. So we pulled over. He was like, hey, you're going to drive the rest of the way because he had basically drove the whole like six hours you want to say and we switched and I was
was so freaking scared because it's not bad because I've been driving for years, but it's just the fact I haven't drove over 70 and 80 speed limit in over two years. And I'm sitting up here holding this, the little steering wheel like this and the wind was tearing me up. This car kept swerving. I'm like, OMG, please do not let me go in the lane. Hit nobody. Kim, hold it together. And I did. But I'm going to tell you this. I did not drive no more while I was on that trip. I made my husband drive everywhere. He was pissed, but he still drove everywhere. All in all, I will definitely be going back to Anchorage. I don't know how soon because that six-hour drive. Ooh. That six hour drive did something to me. So I can't sit up here and say like how soon I will go back. But I definitely will go back. I told my husband like we flying next time. Like I can't do that drive. But I will say comparing the two between Fairbanks and Anchorage. Um, if I personally had to choose where I wanted to get stationed at. Whether it was Jay Brer or Fort Wainwright. I personally would choose Jay Bear because the atmosphere, the atmosphere was so different. Um, I enjoy looking at the mountains. Every direction I go, there's the mountains. I loved it. So many places to shop, so many places to eat at because I am definitely a foodie and it's always something to do you know, with the kids, I noticed that they have like so many different like parks areas where your family can go, kids can go. Also, they have like a lot of like expos and concerts and stuff there and bigger fairs and stuff versus what you do in Fairbanks because it's small. Now, if you ask my husband, he is the active service man. You ask him, Hey, would you rather be in Anchorage or would you rather be in Fairbanks? He was like, honestly, I like Anchorage. There's a lot to do here, but I would rather be in Fairbanks because I can save more money if we're in Fairbanks because I ain't got to worry about you spending. I don't have to worry about spending. And I understand that wholeheartedly because I am a big spender. I am. That's why I have a job. Because I am a big spender. So I get that 100%. Um, I will say what I don't know this for sure. I got to ask a friend. I have a friend that li was born in Anchorage and lived in Anchorage her whole life. I want to know how they maneuver the roads there in winter time because it's kind of like a highway, you know, sort of. And everything seems to take like 20 to, from what I can see, it takes 20 to 30 minutes for you to get to your destination. I want to know how they deal with the roads because think about it. In Fairbanks, like I said, everything is five to 10 minutes away. And the roads in Fairbanks are horrible, during the winter time snowy icy they are horrible especially when we got here in 2021 apparently that was the worst winter they had had in fairbanks in years and it was just like layers of ice and snow it was so hard like you were driving that was one of those times where it took 20 to 25 minutes to get to your destination because you're literally driving five miles per hour, not trying to hit somebody or slide into somebody. It was horrible. But I want to know in Anchorage, I'm going to ask somebody and find out, like, how do they maneuver if their roads get like that? Being that they have to go like a long distance, how do they maneuver when their roads get icy and you know snowed over and everybody don't get snow tires i know some people are gonna be like well they probably have snow tires or like spikes we didn't and we still made it and we <laughs> didn't have our car winter rides we didn't have snow tires none of that and we still made it and i know it's some people it's a few people still like us that's like whatever i'm still gonna use my vehicle regardless those people i want to know how they were able to get around with just plain tires in the roads being bad and every place is like 20 to 30 minutes away but i will say um i really loved anchorage it was nice i'm definitely going to go back um anybody who's going to be stationed here at fairbanks i'm sorry to tell you anchorage is better this is my personal opinion anybody ask me you live in Fairbanks, you visited Anchorage, 
Which one you think is better? Anchorage is way better to me. So beautiful to look at. Places to go, places to eat. Don't get me wrong. Fairbanks is beautiful too. Think about it. You have the beautiful Aurora. You have the mountains and it looks beautiful here in the summertime. Like um, I love how it looks here in the summertime. I'm waiting for the more, I mean, it's looking better out here already but i'm wait, waiting for the you know trees to get even greener by the time june so summer is great don't even get me started about the winter here it looks like a winter wonderland here when it snows so there are some beautiful things about being in fairbanks but i have been one of those people that have lived in the country my whole life i was born in mississippi so i came from the country and i've always said i w i want to live in the country i like living in the country but i want to live closer to stores and restaurants at least 30 minutes away i want to feel like i'm still closer to those things versus here you really don't have nothing like that fairbanks to me is a small country like it just has snow that's how it is to me i feel like it's a small country it just has snow versus anchorage kind of reminds me of a city kind of like you know when i was in columbus georgia so definitely i will be visiting again hopefully soon hopefully i can trick my husband into going in july I hope I can, but, oh, also something before I forget something that I've noticed. So being that it is um, all day sunlight now, it is May 30th today. So it's been all day sunlight for like a few days now in um, Fairbanks. What I found out while I was in Anchorage is that right now it actually still kind of gets dark around like midnight. And I was, as my husband, I was like, I wonder, I thought all over Alaska, you know, it's supposed to be 24 hours sunlight. And I looked it up and found out that Anchorage actually don't start there all day sunlight until June 21st. And I was like, wow, that's actually neat. And here I am in Fairbanks. We already can't sleep because the sun is shining 12, 1 o'clock. But here, Anchorage gets a chance to get a little bit more darkness and don't get their 24 hours of sunlight until later in the summer so yeah that was something that kind of like surprised me also the weather this past weekend for memorial day weekend tricks me 1000 percent because fairbanks from what i've heard from other people anchorage is warmer than fairbanks that was literally not the truth this past memorial day weekend it was not the truth at all. It was super cold. Like when I left Fairbanks, it was like 65 degrees. When I got to Anchorage, it was 45. I was so disappointed. I was literally so disappointed. And then my friend was like, and it was just, it was raining, freezing, cold winds. And then my friend was like, what about the last day? I bet when we leave for Memorial Day, the sun's going to shine. And that's exactly what happened. The sun shined and it got a little bit warmer, but I was already committed to my jogging outfit because y'all them like anchors bamboozled me with the weather for days. So I was already content with my jogging outfit and I was going to keep it on and I did. I sure did. But I hope that this video was informative to you just to explain my opinions of trying to compare Fairbanks in Anchorage. I hope um, if anybody is coming to Fairbanks real soon or if you're already in Fairbanks, please take a trip to Anchorage. You have to take a trip to Anchorage before you leave Fairbanks. You just have to. So I hope that you guys like this video. I will be making another soon.